This is the gross appearance of a tumour of the adrenal medulla called a pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytomas may be defined as paragangliomas of the adrenal medulla. They tend to occur most frequently in the fourth and fifth decades. They are derived from the chromaffin cells and they secrete catecholamines and the metabolite of catecholamines it is called VMA, is excreted in the urine and detection of this is a useful diagnostic test. A simple way of remembering the frequency of occurrence of various features of chromocytomas is the 10% rule. So approximately 10% are bilateral, although bilaterality is more frequent in familial cases. 10% occur in children and around 10% are malignant. And finally, around 10% are extra adrenal, but these tumours are best referred to as paragangliomas and not pheochromocytomas. Pheochromocytoma should really be reserved for those occurring in the adrenal medulla. Symptoms of pheochromocytoma include hypertension, tachycardia, pallor, sweating, headaches and nervousness. Pheochromocytomas may occur in association with conditions including multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome or MEN, neurofibromatosis and von Hippel-Landau syndrome to name but a few. Grossly, pheochromocytomas tend to be less than 5 cm in diameter, although some may be quite large, even up to 2 kg in weight. The cut surface of a pheochromocytoma is typically yellow, grey, white or a reddish brown. The tumour is encapsulated and well circumscribed, and the tumours are also soft and solid. In this case, the pheochromocytoma has a reddish dark brown cut surface. The tumour is well circumscribed and encapsulated. Histologically, pheochromocytomas have well defined nests of cells. These are sometimes referred to as cell balen. The stroma is finely fibrovascular. The cytoplasm of the pheochromocytoma cells tends to be rather granular and pale staining and intracytoplasmic hyaline globules may be seen that are PAS positive. The nuclei may be pleomorphic with prominent nucleoli but pleomorphism has no bearing on how a pheochromocytoma will behave. This is the low power view of a pheochromocytoma. You can see how well circumscribed the tumour is. At a higher power you can see the abundant pale staining cytoplasm and the fine fibrovascular stroma that the tumour cells lie in. And at an even higher magnification, one can see the tumour cells arranged in nests or zell ballen, and the cytoplasm can be appreciated to be pale staining and finely granular. The other thing one notes is the nuclei that show a bit of pleomorphism and have prominent nucleoli. And here you can see the hyaline globules within the cytoplasm coming into the centre of the picture.